Good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. It is Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time in the wonderful United States of America. My name is Fayola Delica, your host of Finding Your Hidden Treasure. Today, our wonderful guest is Mr. Carlos Morales. He's a banking professional, and today we'll be talking about how to take advantage of your banking services. Let's go ahead and tune right in. Have a seat, Mr. Morales. Thank you very much. Uh, very comfortable <coughs> seats. Yeah, I just moved from my office. Uh, this looks great for a Friday evening. Yes, well, I'm so glad to have you today on our show. Thank you now, for having me. And you've been in the banking services for a long time. Oh, definitely. You're a native, well, currently residing in Weston. Yes. And you're also part of Toastmasters International, the Western Club. Oh, you know that too. Good. Oh, yes. Yeah. I know that you're very active in your community. But today we want to talk about how to take advantage of your banking services. Yes. So can we go ahead and dive, dig right in? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the audience that we have in this radio show? Because oh, well, uh, I'm sorry, because of my work, I haven't been able to listen to that radio show. No problem. Well, the radio show, Finding Your Host, I mean, Finding Your Hidden Treasure, mm -hmm. our audience is between the age of 30 and 40 years old. Yes. They're successful business professionals. Some of them are in Toastmasters, of course. Mm -hmm. And we, we like to give them information on how they can improve their business as well as personal side. So today is more on the personal side as opposed to the business. And we'll be talking how they can take advantage on the personal side of their banking services. Yes. Okay, that's a very good point. And I want to invite all the people that is here regarding the banking services. Okay. Is the place where you put the money safe. Yeah. I think it's important to realize that money, when you are between the 30 and the 40s, and you're wealthy in the sense that you have a good salary, you don't think about the risks. Because every month after month, you have the money. And you have a lot of money to spend with your friends and colleagues and that kind of thing. But later, when you have 20 years more, 40 years more, you're going to realize, uh oh, it seems to me I spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, thing is going to be think about banking as a way to use your money wisely, including savings. Now, there is an opportunity savings and, and checking. Can you give us more insight on the various savings accounts besides your traditional savings account that our audience can partake in? Yes, I would say a little bit more because banking is not only just the checking account where you pay the supermarket or wherever, the regular groceries, but also in savings in case you want uh, to pull apart some, take apart some money that you're going to use later. But also thinking about the retirement. People that is going to, that today have 30 years old, they don't think about retirement. Well, you may talk to your banker about, hey, let's discuss about this. I want to take apart $200, $500, of if, or if they are wealthy, we may, we may be talking about $1,000 per month to say, okay, this is going to be my initial steps in retirement with an IRA account. Okay. Now, can you give us the difference between an IRA and a Roth account? What are the advantages and disadvantages? Yes, definitely. There is a tax situation behind that. The IRA, the individual retirement account, is the one that whatever profits you get from the market, you're not going to be taxed on that. Okay. The other that is going to be the Roth, the Roth, uh, IRA Roth, mm -hmm. and then you put the money, but whatever you get in the market in terms of profit, you're going to be taxed on that. So the first one is called tax deferred, and those taxes are going to be paid 20 years from now, 30 years from now, for the population we're talking about. Now let's talk about CDs. How is that still um, an effective process in savings in our market today? Well, that's a difficult question because today, uh, because of the situation of the interest rates, CDs are often a very low rate. So I would say if you're putting some money 90 days fixed, that's the call, the time deposit or a certificate of deposit compared to savings, is almost nothing. So it's, it's a way of putting the money apart for a fixed time rather than going to with, with savings, which is going to be available anytime. Now, from your professional experience, what would you say for business owners? Is it okay for them to have their personal and their business accounts within the same bank, or do you think they should be in two separate banks? Well, if you have a business, definitely you have to go shopping with the bank that is going to provide all the services for your institution, I mean for your company. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be more related to, for instance, uh, loans to your organizations, mm -hmm. or also uh, merchant services like credit cards, accepting credit cards and invoicing, that kind of thing. Okay. Now, as far as the checking accounts services that you provide or the products in your particular bank, are, is there really a big difference between the different checking accounts that you have, or is it just pretty much the same? No, there, there are differences, okay. and some of them may have a fee. I think this program is rather short, 
so I won't go into into detail. Okay. But also, you, I would prefer you to have both accounts in the same bank because you're going to have something that is called reciprocity, okay. or which is going to be okay. I'm going to receive better services from my bank because I have a good personal account for my person. Okay. Now let's talk about investing. The opportunities of investing. What kind of investment opportunities are available in your bank? Well, Such as stocks and bonds or mutual funds, and what's the difference between the three? Well, I was talking about the IRA, the individual retirement account. My recommendation is visit the branch, mm -hmm. and then the branch manager or the account officer is going to put you in contact with a person specialized on this kind of information, uh, and then they are going to be able to, to do what is called a balanced investment, which is going to include a, a stocks and bonds and eventually some cash available with very low interest. Okay. So it depends on the age of the, on the person or also the expectations regarding risk. Okay. Now what makes your bank stand out from others? Oh, and why would you. someone choose banking with you as opposed to someone else? Oh, thank you for that question and thank you for inviting no me. Problem. Which is, oh, it's, it's service. Definitely when you visit our branches, you're going to see the best trained people that is going to understand your needs as a, as a person that is going to the bank. So that definitely that's the first part that you're going to see. Behind that is a lot of technology. Behind that is a lot of uh, automation and also uh, security. Awesome. I mean, safety. Well, Mr. Carlos Morales, we're so excited that you were able to come on the show today. And now, audience, I want to share with you some tidbits that we learned today. That it's important that you understand what services are available at your bank. Because if you do not ask your bank what kind of service they have, how are you able to take advantage of it? And if you do have a business, some say you should put your personal and business accounts in the same bank. Some say you do not. But here from our expert today, he said that's okay. So we're so excited you're able to be with us today as we're here every Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time in the wonderful United States of America. My name is Phil Delita, your host of Finding Your Hidden Treasure. Bye-bye. <laughs>